Well, hello, Shooter. This video is going to be talking about my favorite uh, binoculars. In this case, I'm going to be talking about the Lupo BX2 Tioga or Tioga HD. This one, the one I got here, is going to be the 10x uh, magnification by 42 objective lens. The Tioga HD binocular from Lupo, they have different uh, magnification. They also have the 8x, which is the favorite one by Hunters. And they also have the 12x, which is the favorite one by Coast Guard and the ranger park rangers so they have a deep perception right? once they have it mounted on their top of their towers they have a way more visibility i chose the 10x because uh, my application is mostly target shooting and uh, range and hunting if you're gonna be doing 22 556 uh, below at 100 yards and you go below 9x you won't be able to see your point of impact so to me this was my do it all uh, the Tioga line, they also have different uh, objective lens uh, aperture. I, this is the 42, but the Tioga also have the 32, which they always pair with the 4, uh, 8x for hunters. And they also have the 50, which is paired with the 12x magnification for long range observations. Uh, to me, the 42 was more than enough because I, I didn't want it to be as heavy as the 50 millimeters uh, objective lens, but I didn't want it to be a 32 millimeter objective lens that will gather less light so to me this was most the, that would do the job for me the exit pupil on this pupil on this one is going to be 4.2 the way you calculate the exit pupil it's going to be dividing the objective lens diameter which is a 42 in this case over the magnification which is a 10 that case you will have a 4.2 in case somebody's trying to sell you a scope or a binocular that they have an objective lens of a 30 millimeter and then the magnification is going to be 10 12 you know your exit pupil is going to be really three very low uh, that is strictly linked to the uh, human pupil dilation capabilities when you are below 25 your pupil is going to be able to dilate only to five millimeters when you go above 25 to your 40s a little, a little bit longer probably the, your eye uh, pupil capacity to dilate is going to be on the 4 millimeter. For people who are over 65 of their age, then their capacity to dilate their eyes, their pupil, to gather light is going to be only 3 millimeters. That's why the struggle to see in the dark, uh, regardless. The colors available for this one is going to be the gray that I have here, but they also have a camouflage one. Uh, the exit, the the, I'm sorry, it's called the uh, eye relief on this one, which is the distance from your eyes to the objective lens, to the focal length, it's gonna be 15.5 millimeter. Even if you wear glasses, that I do wear glasses, but I can regulate this as you have plenty of room, so you don't have to be really putting your eyes on your glasses. These are pretty much made and built for uh, militaries, snipers, or law enforcement, SWAT, uh, sharp shooters. Uh, you can tell it's completely rugged uh, the type of glass that i was used is going to be the back four which is the strongest and the one with the better clarity uh, they use you have some sort of fluoride uh, coating all over the lenses that is going to help you gather more light in low light situations and uh, this is going to be uh, waterproof it's going to be fog proof internally it's going to be filled with nitrogen so you know when it's going to be any abrupt changes in temperature they will not get foggy so for those early hunting season, you know you can trust them. Their weight is gonna be only 23 ounces. It is extremely lightweight. And the field of view at a, a thousand yards is gonna be 368 feet. It's really extremely wide field of views. I'm actually challenging the English speaking uh, shooter followers to find any other uh, 10 power magnification by 42 objective lenses that will be lighter than 23 ounces and at the same time it's going to give you a wider field of view at a thousand yard over 368 compared to this one so please leave your comments below if you find a better one than this one uh, another ad the adjustment for this one is going to be you have a, a the object the well the ocular lens over here you have a ring so you regulate it for your dominant height and then your regular turret over here so you can focus image for the image for both of your eyes uh, it comes with these covers on the back but I kind of make a strap so I can fix it 
on the strap that came with it and on the front is also constant with the cover you are paying high density uh, glass it's gonna be the price varies from use I've seen them from 150 to 250 sometimes at 300 so it varies uh, this model is not uh, for sale uh, Lupul is not making it anymore that's why you can get some real good deals on it from the factory this is what you're gonna be getting you're gonna have the poach and you're gonna have the strap and the binocular itself you can tell uh, by the colors this is not a uh, yellow red pink or civilian oriented on the side it comes with the uh, pouches for military magazine and the back have the straps so they can you can put it on your molly on your a best jacket uh, because you are buying a loophole a product you're gonna have a original owner lifetime warranty I'm not sure about the transferable warranty for loophole uh, the reticle is just a plain glass you don't have any reticle if you go if you go on a trip overseas you really won't draw any attention over you because oh you're ex-military or whatever fantasies uh, this is all I got for you to share friends I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, you learned something new. If you like it, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Uh, share it among your friends. And thank you so much for your time.